land of dreams. Take the trip with us on Radio SI. This friend of mine, she's one of the person that she's only happy when she's in plane. Either when going uh, from Serbia to Canada or from Canada to Serbia because neither in Canada or in Serbia uh, she, she doesn't feel fine. And for that reason, from, for every stranger who lives somewhere abroad, it's very important that he is mentally prepared for that kind of living because it's definitely different kind of living. Pozdrav! Hi, my name is Aleksandar Vitsko, I'm from Novi Sad, from Serbia. I live here in Slovenia for last almost seven years. I came from, uh, from Novi Sad, uh, that is the uh, second largest town in uh, Serbia. It is the uh, capital of autonomous province of Vojvodina. Vojvodina is uh, famous about its uh, multicultural heritage. You have a different background as well, right? Yeah, from different... uh, I'm, uh, I would say that in percentages I'm like uh, half uh, Serbian, one quarter Hungarian and one quarter German. So that's a typical Vojvodinian. <laughs> So how do you feel when you go back to your hometown? There are quite mixed uh, feelings. Uh, I, I is it home or is it? For me, Novi Sad will always be home. Somehow, I, I feel home definitely wherever I am with my family, and we feel good there and happy. But Novi Sad will probably stay forever my my home, home, real home. Usually I try to, to change myself because uh, Slovenia is Slovenia and uh, I'm not trying to anything adapt Slovenia to myself but I'm trying to adapt to Slovenia and if you want to be respected and appreciated here then definitely you have to respect uh, the country and uh, the surroundings and uh, customs uh, where you came. I see a lot of people uh, from other countries that even after 20 years they don't uh, learn a Slovenian language or even they don't try what is in my opinion very bad. You speak Slovenian? Yeah, I, I, I hopefully okay. <laughs> speak. Do but, you have a Serbian accent uh, when they say, aha, he's a Serbian? But... Well, I think I have. Now I'm not so competent to say that, but I think uh, for sure, it's uh, it's not any more more like an accent, but uh, but for me the hardest part to adapt to Slovenian language is uh, word order, because I'm still uh, grabbing some grammatical constructions from Serbian language, and that is for me more, maybe the hardest part. So your profession is? I'm an architect. Is it easy to find work? Uh, nowadays not. Uh, comparing to situation from 2007, 2008, when uh, the building industry was on its peak, uh, then there was work on every corner. Nowadays it's a bit complicated, more and more complicated. But I'm hoping that in uh, that there will be at least two or three years to hold on and then that would maybe probably go for a better but definitely not as it was in those previous, I would say, golden ages. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and you came here because of work, right? Yeah, in Slovenia more about, about work. Uh, first because usually the foreigners come here because of love. They usually have one partner who is a Slovene and then they came here. Now this is not the case with you. No, uh, with me it's half-half because my girlfriend, uh, she came here in 2005. Uh, and so she's also from Serbia? She's from Novi Sad, yeah. And she, uh, she came two years before me uh, to Slovenia and then I, I, I finished my military service and uh, finished my faculty and then we were studying where we would live and first I got some job offer here in Slovenia so we ended up here so it's initially by love uh, accidentally by business <laughs> okay but it is difficult though because you don't have your family here you don't have the support
toward the friends. Yeah, it's definitely the hardest part, especially when you get a kid and then you don't have somebody to take care about a uh, kid when you have to urgently do something. You don't and, have the grandparents. Yeah. yeah, and usually don't even don't have so much friends as you would have in Novi Sad. And that's, I would say, for me, for last two and a half years, as little Sonia is with us, is maybe the hardest part uh, for us. EKV par godina za nas. Ekaterina Velika, an old band, uh, very popular in next Yugoslavia. Maybe the last wave of uh, really uh, good rock. Listening to Land of Dreams this week with Alexander Vitsko, a Serbian living in Slovenia. When I came, I was uh, pretty, pretty happy about it because it was most developed and most uh, prominent and uh, somehow the best place to be from all XU countries. What I definitely love about Slovenia is its uh, geographical location. And the, the second thing is also that uh, comparing to other EU countries, Slovenia is somehow, I would say, maybe the best compromise in terms of standard and and uh, closeness to your hometown. And plus the mentality is, uh, although I, I would say that there is a difference between mentality from uh, Slovenians, Serbs, Macedonians, Croats, Bosnians, but more or less those uh, differences are almost nothing comparing to differences towards Scandinavians or Germans or some other countries. In the years to come, you see yourself here? Yeah, if, if certain things uh, go on better and that uh, social economic situation goes on, on, on better, I would say yes. Uh, if not, uh, then probably I will continue my search of land of dreams. The thing with Slovenia is that now slowly all these bad things uh, that you through the years uh, pile under the, your carpet are going up now and now, now it's the time to, to pay the bills. Still I believe that there is uh, opportunity to solve all things in best manner and to get on the right track. Now it's just a matter of uh, wisdom of the people. We were here in Maribor when so all these uh, protests started and that is in some way very good thing that you see that uh, people do have energy that they are not uh, yeah that they still want to fight that they are not uh, what I see in Serbia after almost 20 years of, of uh, economic uh, problems I see on my friends and people a lot of unwillingness to fight uh, like that they are uh, fed up with the whole situation and not, not that there is no hope when there are people there is always hope but it's much more harder than then I would say here, for example. So here people still have the energy. I hope so. <laughs> okay, Alexander. Yeah. Thank you for this conversation. Thank you for inviting me and... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. see you again. Of course. Land of Dreams. 
Take the trip with us every Wednesday at 11.20 a.m. and every Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Only on Radio SI.